It is here that beginning in 2013, the World Bank Group and the Climate Investment Funds helped launch PPCR. The PPCR actually, which is a pilot program for climate resilience, is one of the funds under the Climate Investment Funds. And it's really dedicated to um, mainstream climate resilience into development planning. Uh, but more importantly, it is meant to achieve transformation at scale. What we have actually done working with the World Bank and that, uh, the actual development bank, we have started uh, pilot schemes in two parts of our country, two provinces of our country, which are prone to climate change. Our areas are facing serious challenges of climate change, such as water shortages and floods in some cases. The climate change effects here, it's real, and of course, to me, in my own capacity, I would look at this as a disaster. When we are talking of these changes, they are in episodes which are both extreme. Climate change is no longer a matter of speculation. It's not a, a, a matter of people overstretching their imaginations. It's not a matter of fantasy. It's a reality. Climate change, climate variability is no longer a debate issue. Climate change is real here in Sioma District. We are witnesses to what is happening on the ground. The $36 million grant provided by the World Bank Group and the Climate Investment Funds is aimed at making climate change adaptation and resilience an intrinsic part of Zambia's economic development. PPCR, of course, has been the driving um, you know, project to establish the, uh, the Secretariat, including uh, supporting the, uh, the national component in mainstreaming, um, the uh, climate information aspects. In the Barotse plains of the Zambezi, floods used to be celebrated for their life-giving powers. Alas, climate change means all this is changing, and changing fast. We've not had even a drop of rain, and the situation is dire. Look what the skies, they are, they are clear, which means we don't even have a sign of rain. Also, our predictions from a certain point of view shows that we are still in for it. Even the future is indicating to us that there will be increase in the frequency of weather extremes, climate extremes, especially in terms of droughts and floods. This problem of, of climate change, it really affected women, in that it's women who have to walk long distances. We have areas where the distances to the sources of water uh, are, in, are becoming even uh, further uh, because of the, 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 you know, the, the drought. We have a community where they have to walk about 22 kilometers just to go and fetch water. It is a woman who has to walk. Believe me, in these communities, men cannot fetch water. You, it, it's, it's one out of 100. You find 100 men, one, only one, one man would go and fetch water. One of the main achievements of PPCR is the fact that the pilot program has started building a long line of climate smart farmers and rural dwellers. We met six of them. Sasa Dokas, Morris Kavimbi Ndondi, Esther Mtumbanyambe, Baby Amobi, Mudenda Idise, Mova, Great Havasimbi. The sheer determination of these sex to adapt to and survive climate change led us into naming them Zambia's climate warriors. Welcome to Kazungula district of Zambia's southern province, where the drilling of this well has changed lives here. That day, it was really a good day. People were drumming, they were dancing, they were jumping, they were laughing. Why? Because they were happy seeing water pouring. It was really like a, a dream. The ball, uh, it was uh, drilled for the school, and uh, this time, uh, is sustaining the whole lot of the entire community. We have uh, 10 villages surrounding the school, so most of these people are using that bowl. To have water brought near to your home is, uh, you know, has you know, huge um, you know, benefits. Ladies used to move three times a day. A woman carrying 20 liter, a baby behind, a five liter in the hands, imagine. For some unknown reason, 
The water from this well is so hot that herdsmen we met watering their cattle joked that deers must be the first cows in the world to drink tea. The water that comes out is ever hot and you cannot take it direct. You need to cool it. So when you draw it, you need to cool it for some hours. Then afterwards, that's when you can drink it. This well was not sunk in time to prevent the loss of hundreds of heads of cattle. Cattle are died because of no water. How many? I can easy more than 400. We don't have water in our villages. Cattle, we don't have water for cattle. The cattle is died because of water. And if it, it's very far away, it's water. Maybe it's eight kilometers to go to the water. This youngster explains that he and his junior brother, pictured behind him, are still in anger because the junior brother lost four of his cows to dehydration. Give us water, boreholes. We need boreholes. Our problem is water. The first problem we have here is water. Could you have no water? Animals would be taken to Zambezi, 20 kilometers away. The whole Zambezi river frontage has got a lot of investors who are fenced up in some areas. And uh, these uh, farmers, uh, the communities, are facing a challenge in crossing that road and going through those farms to take the, the animals to the river. Some of the progress PPCR could have made is getting held back. The challenges which we face like on big projects is the issue of contracts the contractors and the like, and if that process could have been made a little, a little simpler and a little easier. Sinking wells like this is proving a major challenge for a number of reasons. The water table has gone even deeper. If you went to drilling companies, they would confirm with you. The scientist was asking, and we agreed to fact check him. The next day, we stopped to witness staff of the company Victoria Drilling at work. The company has been sinking wells in Zambia since 2006. The average is, uh, water table is 40 meters, and uh, some most places is uh, 70. Dry areas is 100 meters. 120 meter I can go Simonga from Simonga to seven kilometer inside. There is no water after 100 meter. 120 meter. Two hours after we first stopped, Victoria drilling struck water at a depth of 60 meters. We later learned that 60 meters in Livingston would be too shallow for wells drilled in many neighborhoods of the capital, Lusaka. In Lusaka, from base of Lusaka, from, uh, from in, in Zambia, my, I am from uh, 2008. But 2008 is 40 meters, 50 meters is good deeper. That nowadays in Lusaka, 80 meters, 90 meters going. It's going water, very water level is going down. Too much down. 